let's do this damn thing. You know how we do what we do. We got new products. They are on site right now. You can go there, criminalclaws.com. We now have premium acrylic starter kits. This kit actually comes with two one ounce nude acrylics and colored acrylic. Comes with our size 10 signature Kalinsky brush, our low odor sweet scented monomer, and our apricot peach cuticle oil. Boom! No one does it like we do. <laughs> Let's get into these nails. We got Coraline with the button eyes. We got dimensional nails. We got color blocking, all with Criminal Claws acrylics. Let's go! So I actually already prepped the nails by pushing back the cuticles and etching the nail plate when I removed my old set. So we're going in with our Dehydrate Her and our Prime Her, which is a non-acid primer, and I go in with two coats of Prime Her. And then I am using nail forms in this application, and I'm going to show you how I apply my nail forms. Now, I'm not that specific on, like, Putting my hand straight in front of me, I actually do it by looking at it from the side. I fit the form comfortably to my nail. I pinch it at the very, very tip. I put the little sticker in there for structure and pinch it right there at the tip. It gives me a lot of space to stick my finger in. And I make sure that I'm pinching all the way up to my fingerprint because I want this to be thin. And before I ever start, I decide how long I want the nails to be. And on the forms are numbers. And it goes from 1 to 10 on these nail forms. And I'm pinching at the 7. And I'm going to pinch there on every form, every finger I do, so that all my nails are the same length. Now, for the dimensional nails... For the ones that I'm not doing nude, I'm actually going to create the extension first. So I'm just creating my own nail extension, kind of like a nail tip, but I'm creating it on my own. So I do it kind of like a full well nail tip. It's not a half nail, half well <laughs> nail tip. If you notice, I'm putting it almost halfway up my nail bed. Because when I go to take the form off to see the extension, I don't want it to break. The extension itself is super thin out on that form. But up near my nail, I start to kind of make it a little bit thicker and not a lot. Not a lot at all. Just enough that I know it's not going to crack when I go to remove my form. Because when I do dimensional nails and I'm creating an extension for myself, I create the extension and then I pull off the form and I kind of file the extension into shape. Kind of like you would your nail tip. You glue your nail tip on and then you file it into shape. That's what I do with my extensions that I make on nail forms. And I also pinch. So I give it a little bit of time to dry so that it's not gummy and sticky and when I can touch the acrylic without it sticking to my fingers, that's when I pinch. And right about now is good. We have a slow setting monomer and it's great for beginners. And it takes a little bit to dry. Not a lot of it. It just doesn't dry super fast like a lot of professional monomers. Now this is a professional monomer. It's just an EMA low odor smooth set monomer. Okay. So, so it's perfect for beginners. It gives you a little bit more time to play. Also, when I create my extensions on my nail forms, I tip my finger down just like I would on a nail tip. It helps the acrylic to flow to that point that you want it to flow to. And I'm doing stiletto, so I made sure that my forms came to a point. And I build the extension first, as always, going up almost halfway up the nail. And I do this kind of in a three to four bead method. I create the extension, and then here is my apex, and then I will go in with my cuticle bead. 
and after my cuticle bead if I feel like I need more acrylic down the center of the nail I will add it to my liking when I do my cuticle bead I tip my finger down and I go in with a wet bead so that I make sure that it adheres to the the nail plate and I don't get any lifting I use a wetter bead than normal because it really self levels to the nail plate on its own and you have less of a chance of getting lifting and looky there what a pretty nail <laughs> all right so after I create my nude nails I will take the forms off and shape my clear nails and then go in with my color blocking and my dimensional nail I feel like after this Everything is pretty self-explanatory. You can kind of watch and see how I add things and then I will clear cap and you'll see the nail art. I'm gonna let you go. I'm not gonna talk for the whole 27 minutes of the video. I love you guys. I will come back in a little bit later. And if you are new here, please subscribe, ring that bell, and say hi down in the comments. Let me know where you're from. And if you love, love, love long nails like these, all right, I will see you back here in a little bit. did want to show you guys something that I do when I am using the forms so you guys are seeing me on the camera going like this I don't do that when I am doing my own nails so I turn my nail towards me like this like this so I can look at it right and then I actually look at it like this in front of me so I can see I look at it straight up and down so I can see that the shape is everything that I want it to be because if you're doing it from the side you might not see that this side is slanting up or that it's going down at a curve and you end up adding more or you end up having to file like a bunch so just make sure that you're looking at your nail in front of you like this and then at you like this so that you can see that you're getting the acrylic everywhere that you want it to be okay okay
So our nails are built and we're pulling off the forms. When you pull off the form, pull it at the base of the nail, as close to your natural nail as possible, and then pull down. Do not pull on the tip, just pull down, okay? Because you can really hurt yourself if you try to pull the form away from the tip of the nail. Now we're gonna go in and shape our extensions. These are not full nails. They're just like a nail tip glued on. That's as thin as it is. So I'm shaping it and then I'm gonna go up around the nail bed and make sure that that is not thick because I'm gonna be doing a design on top and I do not want it to get thick. So I'm making sure that this, this extension itself is thin especially up on the side walls of my nail bed and the shape is definitely on point and then when we go in with our designs it will make it so much easier to keep thin and encapsulate and not have to worry about filing back down into them So I'm going to explain this the best that I can. When I am doing acrylic and doing color blocking or just lines or 3D designs, I actually go in with a little bit of a wet bead, a tiny wet bead with my 3D acrylic brush. I believe this is a size 6. And I string it along wet. And then I kind of wait for it to get matte and I just push it out where I want it to be. Once it starts to go a little bit matte and it's not so shiny, that's when it's the best time to start pushing and molding and doing everything that you want to do with it. And since our monomer is slow set, you actually have quite a bit of time to work with your 3D. So it's great to work with and here we go in. This is actually Black Beauty that we went in with and then this is All Bats, the glitter acrylic. And I forgot to mention, but the nude that we used was Punani Power. So yeah, and then when we get to the thumb and we do our dimensional design, the dimensional design is done with all bats here. And then we also use our Into the Night, which is a chameleon acrylic. And you'll see that. So I'm going to let you guys go. I'm not going to bother you anymore. You can watch the nail art. I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified each and every time we upload. I love you. Bye.